What do you do if your parrot won't step up on a stick? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. Please be sure to get your copy so that you know how to provide all the quality you need for your parrot's life so that you can have quantities of bliss with your parrot. Now, a lot of parrots will quickly and easily learn to step up because you just put your fingers under their feet or under their chest and they'll step up. Binks is only 10 or 11 weeks old and he really already does step up. He's just like, no, I don't want to step up. I don't want to go away. I want to be cuddled with. All right, even though um, Crippoli Quantum will step up, I'm going to see if I can give you a nice visual on how to sort of try to lure your parrot to step up. So I've got a treat. I've got a pistachio that he would love to have. I'm going to put the stick around, oh, perfect, around, oh, he's a little scared of it. So I'm putting the stick around his height, and I'm going to actually lay it on the plastic he was on so he's more comfortable. I'm gonna show him the pistachio. Come here, sweetie. Would you like pistachio? And I'm trying different things to get him to come, and generally, he's very happy to take pistachio. And he actually does know how to step up, but he doesn't like the stick. So this is turning out to be a really good example. Oh, good boy. Yeah, come here. There you go. There you go. Now, <laughs> I guess that went even better than I had hoped. You want your pistachio? You want your pistachio? There you go. Okay, you want to go over here and have it? Or do you want to go there and hang? And so I hope that gives you a nice visual. A lot of parents are scared of sticks. Why? Uh, I don't know. You know, I would say maybe they were hurt with the sticks, but I've noticed that sometimes even like really young parrots are scared of sticks. Maybe it looks like a snake. I don't know, when it's not surrounded by leaves and a trunk, it seems to be a potential thing that will scare them. Um, this is my favorite stick because it kind of has a nice handle and it allows my African greys and my bigger birds to step up very nicely. Once a parrot gets to know your stick, they just don't mind and they just like they start to put their foot up because they know what's going on and they're ready so make sure that if you can use the same stick use a stick that works really well for you that's comfortable for you and one that's going to really um, be a nice diameter for letting your parrot put its foot well around higher so it's around the stick so that it fits well so that they can grab on well, it's not too small and it's not too big. And those are some, also some important parts for making sure that your parrot can comfortably step up when you want them to step up. What do you do though, if your parrot won't step up either on your, your fingers, your palm, a stick? Well, one of the things that's happening is your parrot probably either has never learned to step up or has a negative association with it. When you put your hand at their chest and you gently move your hand forward, they're going to automatically start to step up because you're getting under them and it causes them to move. Now, if that's not working, if they're flying off, they're going somewhere else, <clears throat> one of the things you really need to do is train your parrot that it's worth stepping up Sort of teach them that they're going to want to step up so that they can spend time with you. Uh-oh. Are you getting all tangled? Are you getting tangled there? Or are you doing it on purpose? Yeah, you're doing it on purpose. Okay. So you can do something like use a tree. I always say you should be a Pez seed dispenser. Meaning that don't put seeds in your parrot's um, cage, especially if you have a medium to large size parrot. Make sure that you're the one giving the seed. Now, if you have like an African gray or a macaw and you have to give some macaw mix, that could be a little tricky, but you can always keep their favorite nuts back so that you can give them out as a treat. 
So if you're the one giving your um, conure or your Indian ring neck, um, a, like a little sunflower seed, then they're going to start to be more interested in stepping up. So you kind of want to really have a positive association for them. The other thing you really are going to want to do is when you have them out of their cage, make sure you have them around you and they don't have to necessarily be on you. If you're comfortable with that, that's really good too. But if they're around you, then they start to get more and more comfortable with you. And of course, if you're giving out some seeds or some special treat that they really like, they're going to want to be around you even more and even more and they're going to want to come they're going to want to be stepping up be jumping onto your shoulder and be doing whatever it is to get the love get the praise get you singing to them get you talking to them and certainly get you giving them a treat so just make sure that you really have set yourself up well for that positive association and have the stick with you so that you've got the stick right there and your parrot can start to step up and then have the seed a step in front of that so that they're going to want to come toward the stick. They're going to want to step up onto the stick and get up on the tree. Thanks for joining Binks and I in this video and my kayaks back there. We'll see you next time.